Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we're making a faux farmhouse book stack. I'm displaying this cute little gnome boop, but if you'd like to make it stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here. Now the star of this little show in my house is the Oh Gnome You Did Not Wooden Gnome. I fell in love with it. This is, by the way, absolutely not sponsored. I just bought it for myself and thought I'd share it with you all because if you want to send a gift, these things are solid. They are wooden gnomes and they're absolutely adorable. So I'll leave a link to her shop below. I'll also link up some artificial pine branches in a, an amazing quality that I got on Amazon. And also these. These are the star of the show because they take spray paint, okay? They're so easy. They're MDF and wood blocks from Amazon. All right, so you're also gonna need black paint, Velcro dots, a winter pick, and your hot glue gun. All right, so I'm using the Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer in one, and the reason I love it for all of my projects, in flat white, by the way, is because it makes you look like you know how to spray paint things, and I don't. So, yay. All right, so then I just took a little bit of black paint on a foam brush and added it to the edges, wiped it off with a wet cloth. Now, you don't have to do this. You can add E6000, wood glue, whatever you want to stick these guys together, but I'm using Velcro dots, and they're the mini micros. They have sticky on both sides, and then it allows me to move my blocks around a lot, so I can decorate one side, still use it as a book stack in another part of the season. I love these with the Velcro dots, and they don't add a lot of bulk in between, which makes me super happy. All right, so you can see here, you can see the edges here, but if you want to add additional like sayings or anything on Ruffles and Rain Boots, I have tutorials for two different kinds of book stacks using dollar store books, not MDF wood. And the first is a fall. It's made with hardback books or softback books from the Dollar Tree, and it is made with stamps. So it looks really cute. I'll show you a picture of it here. And all I'm doing here is just adding the two ribbons together, folding them down and gluing them together before putting them on. So here you can see the fall is so cute with those little stamps. And here you can see my holiday one I used with my farmhouse gnome. This is with the little vinyl from my Cricut machine. All right, so after you get those ribbons down, or ribbons together, tack them down onto your uh, book stack. And then I just made a little three loop bow Again, this is some wired ribbon, but you can do this without wired ribbon. And then I just stuck it right on the middle there. Now I used these pine branches and I shaved them down a little bit and I used a little teeny tiny bit of berries. So I thought the branch was too big, so I shaved it down. See those little wooden cubes? I thought if you didn't use a branch, you could do those Dollar Tree cubes and make presents. Well, you're done. After you secure it all down with some glue, look, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below if this is an easy craft you'd like to do. Thanks for being here, and please subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots.